The first uh, thing we're going to cover for a system of equations is the process of elimination. This is perhaps you've learned this method before, maybe in high school to solve a system of equations, or maybe you've just figured it out on your own. It's it's actually a fairly simple method, and so uh, what we do in this method is we try to eliminate one of the variables from the equations. And so what we do is we'll try to get uh, we'll try to get it so we can just add these equations together and one of these terms will drop out. And so one of the ways to do that is get the coefficients on x1 uh, to be the same. And so I'm going to multiply this first equation by uh, a21. And, and actually if I multiply it by a negative a21 and multiply this one by uh, a, a positive a11, then we'll have opposite signs and that'll work out. So I'll go minus a21 here, minus a21 here, and a11 there, a11 here, and a11 here. Okay, so then we have this uh, this system of equations. Now let's start, start simplifying it. So uh, if we add this together, that term drops out. And so then we have uh, the result is then a11 uh, a22 minus a21 a12 uh, times all of that times x2 equals uh, a11 b2 minus a21 b1 and uh, uh, we're not quite there, so we can divide both sides by uh, by this. Um, so we'll, we'll do that here. So we we'll say x2 equals uh, a11 b2 minus a21 b1 all over a11 a22 minus a21 a12. Okay, and now that yeah, we're done with this, we can take this result, we can substitute that back in for x2, so let's say in this equation, and uh, if we do that, so we'll put that, let's say x1 then, we can solve for x1, um, and let's let's just start doing that here, let's see x1 equals, so that'll be a11, so we'll have to divide everything by a11. Well, uh, if we do that, we're going to actually come out with uh, b1 uh, a22 minus a12 b2 all over uh, a11 a22 minus a21 a12. Now, uh, the reason that I show you this is because this is really interesting. We've actually come up with the equations for uh, Kramer's method. Okay, so uh, just as a reminder, uh, Kramer's method said x1 equals the determinant of um, b1, b2, a12, a22, right, uh, which is equal to over, let's go down here, we can go down, we can go down all the way to here, okay, over the determinant of a, and that is equal to uh, b1, a22 minus a12 uh, b2 all over uh, a11 a22 minus a12 a21 and that was just recalling from the definition of the determinant. And so it's really interesting here. We have x1. This is exactly the same. And for x2, uh, we get the exact same. We have the determinant of uh, a11, a21, uh, b1, b2 over uh, 
uh, the determinant of a, and that, again, it ends up being exactly equal to what we have here. If you look, a11 times b2 uh, minus a21 times b1, that's our numerator and our denominator, the same, the determinant of a. So, interesting uh, that, that in doing this, uh, we come up with Kramer's method. Thus, uh, we can conclude that uh, Kramer's uh, rule or, or, or Kramer's method is actually uh, an elimination method uh, because we're doing the same thing and in the end we come up with the exact same equation. So uh, we're not only doing the same thing but algorithmically it really, it really does end up being uh, uh, exactly the same.